So I thought this would be a cool little, I guess, review type of video. Um, as you guys know, monitoring transmission temperatures is really important, especially with the CVT. Um, because I'll be towing the trailer soon, it's really critical that I monitor um, coolant, uh, transmission and oil temperatures, as well as a couple of other items. Uh, I was gonna get a scan gauge. I know that they're tried and true, they work well. Um, for what they are in the display quality, I think they're overpriced. Don't get me wrong, I think they're great. They're very um, reliable, they're very consistent. A lot of people use them, like them, and um, they're, 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 they are their favorite OB monitoring tool that's out there. So by all means, very cool, very good. Um, I wanted to try to see if I could find something that was similar at a lower price point and offered similar features. Now, transparently, I don't know all the features the scan gauge offers, so this may not be as thorough as you would hope it would be. Uh, as far as a comparison, you know, let me know in the comments what scan gauges do that this doesn't do, um, just to help educate me. One thing that this doesn't do that maybe scan gauges will, um, this doesn't have like a trip log. There's no memory I can save and it doesn't link to my phone. It would be really cool if this linked to my phone and I could save like trip data. I don't know if you can with scan gauge too either, but that would probably justify an additional hundred dollars for a display that's, you know, 40 years old um, on a scan gauge too. But uh, I'm just gonna do a quick kind of tutorial of what this um, OB2 monitor does. So there's four main categories. Some of them will have three, some will have four. You can change what's displayed in these three. Um, this last one by default just has a GPS. And there's a few different like aesthetic looks. They're pretty similar in the data that they show, but um, I'll do a quick walkthrough. So as you can see, I have it set to voltage, the transmission temperature, the RPMs, and then this one I can't change. It just defaults to how many GPS signals, uh, signals it's picking up. Now this is pretty cool because it actually picks up your speed and your altitude utilizing GPS. I haven't got a chance to see how accurate that is. The altitude is accurate. It's very accurate, which is really cool um, because in theory, even if I'm in a remote area, I can view the altitude. So uh, I'll just walk you through really quickly. So to toggle between what's displayed in some of these areas, um, you can do uh, fuel, uh, uh, mass, uh, gosh, the map pressure, um, oil temperature, uh, air fuel mixture. Uh, I believe that's for turbo. That's for turbo. Uh, this is the fuel consumption. It's in kilometers. I got to change it to miles. Um, again, transmission temperature. Uh, I think that's engine load index. Uh, somebody correct me if E, L, D. Um, the uh, coolant temperature for coolant. And um, I don't know what TPS is, so somebody help me out with that. How long it's been running, how far we've driven, which is zero, voltage, the number of GPS signals it's picking up. Um, this is the altitude, so that's pretty cool. That's very, very accurate actually for where I'm at. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature. Uh, the direction, that's also helpful. Um, in case you don't have direction in your vehicle or you don't have GPS or something like that or an electron compass. Um, ECT and RPMs. So there's a tack here and then you can also do it digitally. Um, again, fuel, consumption map, and we'll go back to oil temperature. All right, so I'll show you some of the other um, faces so there's this view. This is if you have a turbo, which I don't, um, but it's got turbo. You have a attack and a speed as well as direction. This one I actually really like because it's got right here my RPMs, my speed, my direction, and my CVT temperature right there, really large. I really like this one. This is a very clean look. Um, and it's pretty responsive as far as when I step on the pedal and the 
the change in the RPMs within the dial on both my dashboard and on here. Um, this again is if you have a turbo, which I don't have. Um, this is a pretty cool just data analytics screen. You can change this and this to whatever you want to, um, but this will display multiple data points kind of in one just numerical um, position. This is a acceleration test, which I don't know if it actually works, but you can do zero to 60 time. You can also do a brake test. Again, I don't know if it's accurate. Um, this will show you a couple of different data uh, feeds that are coming in from the ECU. Um, so again, coolant temp, um, engine load, a couple of other things, the fuel line mixtures. Um, and then here is, I think the face, I don't think I showed this one. So it's got, the barometer for the coolant temp, again, tack, speed, CVT, I said it's oil temperature and voltage. The reason I have voltage is because I have so many um, additional lights on the vehicle. I wanna make sure I'm keeping an eye on that to make sure my one, battery's not going, and two, my alternator's not going. So that's a good thing to monitor. And then again, it's got this um, direction. And this is just another face. I don't really like this one, but it doesn't matter. It's the same data, it's just a different look. And then I think this is the one we started with. That's pretty cool. The other thing that's cool is if you hold it and you go to the settings, um, you can actually run an OB diagnostic. It'll actually read code and you can clear codes if there is one on your ECU. Um, within settings, you can change a lot of things. Um, it's cool, there is a speed alarm. You can set an RPM alarm where this will turn red and it will beep. Um, but it doesn't have a CVT alarm, which would be kind of cool. But um, you can set it to RPM, bat, and uh, speed so that this will actually light red. And I believe it'll make like an audible sound. You can change the time, um, the units as far as like miles, um, kilometers, Celsius and Fahrenheit, the time, you can adjust the brightness of the screen. It also has an auto um, dimming feature based on ambient light. So you can make it brighter or make it darker, or you can have it uh, automatically do that. And we'll just go back to the main screen. And yeah, uh, I haven't really gotten a chance to, to go out and drive with it yet, but it comes with um, kind of some tools, I guess. It comes with a little screwdriver, which is um, the right size Phillips that goes on the bottom of the bracket. It's kind of hard to see because it's so dark. It also comes with a body like clip tool or sorry, body, uh, yeah, um, body tool. I don't know what you call these, sorry. A trim tool, there we go, trim tool um, to help kind of like uh, hide the wiring, which is pretty cool because you really can't see the wiring um, just right there. But because it's a ribbon style wire, it's not, it's not round, it's flat. It's actually really easy to tuck in. And so it looks clean. I do have the suction cup on it and the um, the adhesive pad. The adhesive pad doesn't stick very well there because there's a grate for the tweeter. So there's not really much for it to stick to. Um, so I have the suction cup as well. I don't think it's a bad thing though. It doesn't look bad. You really can't see the, um, the, the plate on the bottom anyways, but it just kind of gives it more stability anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Obviously I haven't used it much, but it seems to work really well. Um, the fact that it's got a OBD scan is in and of itself very helpful. Um, and it seems to display and include some of the critical uh, measurements that I would want to monitor, especially while towing the trailer. So yeah, uh, I'll keep you guys up to speed or, or up to date on um, the progress or how it works. Um, the, the time, just a heads up, is in military time. That's pretty common actually except for within the US you can't change that you can change the time but it's always gonna be a military time you can't change it to a 12-hour format so if you don't know military time um, or a 24-hour clock then you're kind of in trouble uh, that's it yeah like I said let me know in the comments what the scan gauge 2 does that this doesn't do just to educate me and if you have any questions I'm happy to help but I want to share this because $40 is definitely a lot better than 150, 160, depending on if you get on sale, maybe $130 for scan gauge. Um, now the scan gauge is good because it's slim and basic and very uh, generic. Like, you know, a lot of people put them here or on their dash and 
they're very small and slim which is is actually a good thing uh the reason i actually like this though is because it's so large and because it's backlit and it's color like at night i don't have a problem seeing that like and it's not so bright because it automatically adjusts um the backlighting that it's not like it's distracting me or blinding me it's probably a little bit dimmer than like the interior lighting of the subaru already so if you look let me zoom out it's not like it's distracting in any way um that's it i don't know it wasn't really formatted but those are just kind of my initial thoughts i like it out of the box it seems to work pretty well